We can't let this happen. We can't let the bridge of faith be separated by a wall of hate due to the actions of a few who have blood on their hands and are unwilling to understand that the lives of man are sacred. So blaming the West and what they did doesn't take away the fact that the world needs peace, not religious hatred, whose deeds breed Big Brother, where dissent is forever silenced, when in reality religion is here for one thing, to provide guidance. It's not supposed to be accessible for raising militants. The injustices in places like Afghanistan, Iraq or Palestine doesn't justify the killing of an innocent by those claiming to defend the religion. But when it comes to its basic tenet, they're hardly observant, which is why mosques need to do a lot more than just a Friday sermon. I'd like to see them do better outreach, going to those places occupied by those distorting what the faith is and provide the counter-narrative. In this clash between liberal and conservatism, with many of us in prison as a way of challenging extremism, we need a positive vision of what we're supposed to do as Muslims in Britain, while at the same time, give a real stake to our youth. Because let's make one thing clear, as a youngster, the only time I read I could become a world leader was in a leaflet by Hezbo Tahrir. A banned group, amongst others with more distorted religious beliefs, is why we need counter-extremism organisations like Sirat, VIP Minds, Salam Project and Street, working with vulnerable individuals to inspire a change of heart. In this debate about the cause, foreign policy and ideology both play a part in sending our men to the crosshairs of the law, so why don't counter-extremists work with organisations like Stop the War, therefore embodying the hashtag We Stand Together for all those who lost their lives in London Bridge and in Manchester. Let's stand together against all those distorting our faith. Let's stand together against all those preaching hate. Let's stand together. Only we can keep our country safe. Let's stand together. We stand together. Yo, I don't care what that fake shake be babbling. Islam doesn't teach suicide bombing Some get sucked in through marginalisation Disenfranchisement, mental health, no integration Wrong walk teaching plus consistent demonisation The newspapers, the radio plus the news on television Watch the shake that you follow, kinda simple He might look holy but could be an undercover devil Teaching you to kill, murder and slaughter innocent people Peer pressure is real, ignorant friends can be lethal Yeah, sometimes foreign policy does play a part Extremist material on social media needs to depart Deconstruct the narratives, the negative and the rhetoric That's hijacking a dean, something kinda toxic Shout out to all the grassroots activists against extremism The workshops, the outreach, the straight up action Extremism and radicalisation Perpetuated lies and miscommunication Mental health frustration Marginalisation Not from the most high but the devil is Satan Extremism and radicalisation Perpetuated lies and miscommunication Mental health frustration Marginalisation Not from the most high but the devil is Satan <laughs>